dark energy and dark matter or vivid force. Physicists believe that the universe consists of dark energy, dark matter, and atoms. But how? In the 1990s, two independent teams of astrophysicists turned their eyes to calculate the declaration. To their surprise, they found that the expansion of the universe wasn't slowing down, it was speeding up. Something must be contracting gravity, something which the scientists dubbed dark energy. But Saleh theory have different explanation. The remaining of the Big Bang energy accelerates the masses and it's the energy that we name dark energy. According to mass energy formula, the total energy of universe is 10 to the power of 70 joules. Now, suppose that the mass of the whole universe is neutron and the atom is not yet formed. We are going to calculate the compression energy of this neutron star according to the Monte Carlo techniques. At that time, the world was a dense sphere containing neutrons with a volume of approximately 1 cubic meter. So, the density is 10 to the power of 53 kg per cubic meter. Here, E1 of rho is the energy of one neutron in the neutron star with density of rho and E total of rho is the total energy of n neutron in the neutron star. The total energy is 2.8 cross 10 to the power of 153 joules. If the volume at the initial moment of the Big Bang was 1 cubic meter, the Big Bang energy was approximately 10 to the power of 150 joules. And if the volume was about 10 to the power of 12 cubic meter, this energy is about 10 to the power of 125 joules, but not 10 to the power of 70 joules. So, dark energy is actually from the initial mistake about calculation of the energy of the whole universe at the moment of the Big Bang. Saleh theory believes that the most important part of the initial energy of the universe is energy from its density, which is consumed to the production of particles and matters. The remaining of this enormous energy accelerates these masses and it is the energy that we name dark energy. Dark matter consists of two parts, matter and dark. Matter is something which has mass and occupies space, includes atoms and molecules and anything made up of these, but not other energy, phenomena or waves. In advance, matters have interaction with matters. And dark means we don't have enough knowledge about that. According to the current theory, the dark matter exists everywhere but it cannot be seen. It passes through all matters and does not interact with any matter and only its gravitational effect is visible. So, it is not matter at all, but it is a force. The cosmological principle is the notion that the distribution of matter in the universe is homogeneous and isotropic when viewed on a large enough scale. Suppose a celestial object rotates at a different angular velocity. According to Newtonian laws, this object must pass into another orbit. It is even possible that it strikes another object and consequently disrupts the homogeneity of the universe. So, angular velocity must be constant and it means those objects that are far away from the imaginary center of the universe are moving faster than the near ones. Saleh theory believes that dark matter is a vivid force that originally created by the difference of a speed at the edge of the universe and the speed inside the universe. The enormous difference between the speed at the edges of the universe and the speed at the supposed center of the universe 
causes a vortex force, which creates a force inward, like a vortex that turns and pushes everything in the center of the rotation. Saleh theory believes that dark energy is nothing but the remaining energy of the Big Bang minus a consuming energy. The consuming energy includes the energy of forming the universe, namely in order electrons, protons, neutrons, nucleuses, atoms, elements, planets, etc. plus the dark matter or the vivid force. Dark energy is Big Bang energy minus mass energy plus dark matter. Dark energy The observations since 1919s indicating that the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate and dark energy is the most accepted hypothesis to explain. The energy of the universe according to the mass energy equivalence is approximately 10 to the power of 70 joules. At the Big Bang time, suppose that the universe is a neutron star with volume of approximately 1 cubic meter. So, the density is 10 to the power of 53 kg per cubic meter. Therefore, according to the Monte Carlo method, the energy of this sphere is equal to 10 to the power of 150 joules. Saleh theory believes the difference between compression energy and mass energy is dark energy which accelerates the masses after creation. So, dark energy is an initial mistake about calculation of the energy of the Big Bang. Dark matter or vivid force. The mass, by definition, is a measure of resistance of an object to acceleration when a force is applied. In principle, the mass occupies a space and it is there where the force takes effect. Given what has been said, dark matter does not meet the definition of mass because it is everywhere but we cannot find it. Indeed, what is called dark matter is an illusionary definition that must be corrected. As explained in the beginning, at the edges of the universe, speed exceeds that of light and celestial objects are rotated with a speed several times higher than the speed of light. The enormous difference between this speed and the speed at the supposed center of the universe causes a vortex force. The same force creates a rotation and a force inward, like a vortex that turns and pushes everything in the center of the rotation. Mm -hmm. 
so what is called dark matter is only a vivid force that is generated from the difference in the speed of rotation of celestial objects at the edge of the universe and those that rotate near its supposed center.